John Chicken Phillips here and it's time for another remembering episode. The series, well, I like to remember about a video game. The how this series works as well. Basically, I do this in a one-shot, one-take format. So if there's mistakes, if there's spoilers, well, you have been warned. Now, I have been really excited to talk about this game for a good while now. And I'm finally going to take a crack at it. It is Final Fantasy XV. Now, before we talk about Final Fantasy XV, let's break this down and how I'll talk about it. So, what I like to discuss is how I got into the game, what were my thoughts during the game, and then what is the future of said series. So, let's start with how did I get into Final Fantasy XV? Well, with Final Fantasy XV, it was when I was getting back into JRPGs, and it was the first Final Fantasy I had seen announced in a long time, which really, really grabbed me. So with this, I was watching trailers all the time. I was invested in all the things around it. So the animes, which explained the character motivations, them growing up, etc. Anything that I could get my hands on with Final Fantasy XV, I was there. I was on the hype train for this. And... You know what? I was so pleased when this game came out. Now, for myself, and I'm holding it right in front of me to remind me about the game, is I got the Final Fantasy XV Deluxe Edition in the steel case. So this actually came with the game, a couple of DLC, and it came with the Kingsglaive Final Fantasy XV film, which I will probably talk about another day, because I really, really enjoyed Final Fantasy 15 Kingsclave. However, moving on. So Final Fantasy 15, when it came out, yes, it was kind of not fully complete. We'll, we'll say that because there was a lot that was added into it, whether it was through DLC, whether it was through the Royal Edition, there was still a lot of work that needed to be done. So when I first played it, I played the vanilla version and I completed it within a weekend because I was just so invested in the game. Now generally, I absolutely love Final Fantasy XV. It's up there in my top Final Fantasy games. And the likes of having the party of Noctis, Ignis, eh, Gladios and Prompto, I really enjoyed the, the band, the, the boy band as folk call them, on their road trip throughout this land and what I quite enjoyed with this is this took came away from the turn-based combat and was more action-based and yes a lot of people complain about the combat which is essentially old square to win and um, but there was more elements to this so you could for example craft a uh, magic now one thing I really liked about the magic in this game is that if you crafted let's say fire magic right and you throw the magic too close to your party members they they can actually get friendly fire in this and they can get hurt from you throwing magic too close to them or yourself i thought that little touch was really really cool and um, i also liked the the world in general now i know a lot of people will say no well it's just empty grasslands or empty deserts but i i quite enjoyed you know going into the regalia which is the car and driving from place to place, so you had like the beach area with um, the little resort where you could do the fishing. Uh, there was the bit where you could race Gladio in one of those um, side memory things. I think that's what it's called. And then, for example, the other city, which is up in the hills, um, which kind of going off in a little ramble here. But does anyone remember when... Assassin's Creed was um, linked up with Final Fantasy XV and there was a whole Assassin's Creed section in this game which was like a time thing. That was bizarre, was it? <laughs> anyway, with this game as well, um, one of the greatest strengths of this game was the enemy, the, the main villain, which was Arden Azunia. Now, Arden had a real air to him, like a real smugness around him but he could back up that smugness and the characters you know Noctis, Prompto and uh, company they didn't really click he was the bad guy until it was really realistically too late um also there was a complaint with this game that 
I didn't really have an issue with. Now, it was kind of controversial for some people. I'd, again, with me, I didn't find it controversial. It was when the game was open world for half of the game. Then you get to a certain point where it goes linear. Now, I had no issues with this because it was all story related and I enjoyed the story beats of this game. If this game, I will say though, that if this game had fully cooked, um, as they would say, um, I think it would have been regarded higher than it actually is because there was so much added into the game after the vanilla release that could have really brought it up to a higher standard for most people. I did, as I mentioned before, really enjoy my time playing Final Fantasy XV. I just loved it all. Oh. <laughs> One thing I've just remembered, when you're in Regalia, driving from place to place, did everyone love listening to all the classic Final Fantasy songs? <laughs> I loved listening to the Final Fantasy VII soundtrack, or the Final Fantasy VIII soundtrack whilst driving to from place to place. Um, oh, and another thing, right, does anyone remember going out at night as the characters and coming up against the demons, the harder demons, like the Iron Giants, etc. and going, oh, I'm a bit out of my depth here. <laughs> I really thought that was so, so funny. The amount of times where um, even Ignis, who usually drives, is like, nah, nah, mate, Noctis, you shouldn't be driving at this time. And Noctis is like, nah, get out. I'll drive, Ken. <laughs> and then you totally regret it later because you get your ass handed to you. Um, there was one enemy which I always struggled fighting against. And um, it's a series trope. And that is the Tomberries. The Tomberries in Final Fantasy XV were just... Oh, I, if you've seen them, you just ran for your life. Or the Marlboros. I mean, obviously, they are high-level enemies in the little hidden area. You need your flying car to uh, take on the harder ones. But... <laughs> they were just, just scary. Now, when it comes to the future of Final Fantasy XV, well, Final Fantasy XV has had its time. Well, has it? No, wait a minute. There was a recent Final Fantasy mobile phone game release, which is a bit bizarre. After like 10 plus years, there was a new Final Fantasy XV mobile game came out recently. But in general... We're not going to see anything more of Final Fantasy XV, no new entries, um, because Final Fantasy XVI, at the time of recording, is the most recent Final Fantasy to be released, and that has got all eyes on that there, because that's just had recent DLC. Honestly, I loved my time with Final Fantasy XV, and it is a game that I do revisit quite a lot. Um, I've replayed it so many times, and to be honest with you, I'm really thinking about getting it uh, downloaded back onto my PlayStation because uh, it does have massive updates for it. The, when I originally deleted it off my PlayStation 5 to make some more room for other games, and then I thought to myself, ah, oh, this is going to be a massive pain in the backside when I want to replay this game again. Anyway, so there we have it. That is remembering Final Fantasy XV. Did you ever play Final Fantasy XV? Well, what were your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, if you like what you're hearing and seeing on the channel, please help me grow it by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you want to be kept up to date with everything Chicken Fillets, well, hit that notification bell. This has been John, aka Chicken Fillets, and until next time, tatty bye! I've come up with a new recipe.